Morning kids, how are you doing? Today we're going to do a lesson all about pigs, just in case you're wondering why I'm wearing a pig on my head. We're going to do five little pigs. Do you remember the rhyme that you do with your toes? This little piggy went to market? Well, that's what we're going to do. And afterwards, we're going to learn all about pigs. Because after dogs, I love pigs. Pigs are the cutest. Pigs are smart. So today I'm going to be Princess Piggy. <coughs> Enjoy. Today's rhyme has five little piggies in it. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's have a look at the, what the little piggies are doing. This little piggy's got a basket. She's going off to the market or to the shops. I think her household full of piggies must eat a whole lot of food. This little piggy is the lazy pig. He sits on his couch all day long and watches TV. Probably eats a lot too. These little piggies are about to eat food, but this little one won't share with his brother. Poor little pig. This one looks like it's ready to eat everything up. But poor brother is sad because there's no food. And up here we have the exercise freak pig because he loves to go running round the block to his house every day. So he's a really fit pig. Let's try the rhyme. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed at home. This little piggy ate roast beef. And this little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee 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 all the way home. Now get your toes ready for doing the piggies. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed at home. This little piggy ate roast beef. This little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee 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 all the way home. If you ask people what they love about pigs, they'll say something like bacon. I love bacon and eggs. Some people say, oh, pork fillet, pork chops, pork roast, pork sausage, yum. But I think that's awful. I love pigs because they are so cute. Look at that pink snout. Nothing quite beats a little baby piglet. They're not quite so pretty when they get older. Look at the size of that pig. My word. Pigs are now kept as pets and they make very loving, very intelligent pets. That one's grown a little bit bigger. Look at that little cute, cute black pig. But then pigs unfortunately get bigger. This one's really heavy. Wouldn't like to pick him up. Watch this lady taking the pig for a walk. She's got her dog on this side and her pig on that side. There's also an expression that says, as happy as a pig in mud. Pigs love wallowing in the mud. Let's make our piggy headbands. First thing we've got to do is cut the headband. I've got a ruler and I'm just going to draw the line. And because the piece of paper is not big enough, we've got to have two headbands that we join in the middle. Then we're going to quickly cut them out. Again, children can easily cut along the long lines doesn't matter whether it's particularly skew. And then we join them in the middle. Take a piece of sticky tape. And now you have a long headband. Next thing you're going to do on another piece of paper you're going to take a round shape 
I've just used a cereal bowl, a pudding bowl, that I'm going to draw around, draw around your bowl. And what I suggest you do is color it before you cut it, and you don't have to worry about coloring it in the lines. The other thing you're going to need are two ears, and the ears are triangles. So, if you want them exactly the same shape, then obviously fold your piece of paper, draw it once, and cut it out twice. When you color in his ears, press harder so that it's a darker pink to the rest of his face, so it actually sticks out. Okay, remember, cut color all the same direction. Make sure that your coloring is smooth. And it doesn't have to be in the lines because you're going to cut it out. Okay, so now you've got a pink piggy. The next thing you're going to do is to draw an oval for his nose for his snout. Give him two nostrils. And then I also would color this a little bit darker, the snout. So that it sticks out. Then what you're going to do is you're going to cut it out. Right, everything is cut out. Now we're going to stick on the ears. You can decide if you want ears like cats or I normally prefer them making, I prefer it down, but your choice what to do. So take your glue stick, let's glue the ears into position. When your ears are all ready, then you can decide where your eyes go. Wherever your eyes go, it changes the whole look of him. You can have eyes up there, you can have eyes sideways, so you just decide where you want your piggy's eyes. So I've got my piggy like that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to stick him onto your headband. Make sure that he won't flip. And then the last thing you're going to do is ask mom to help you put the headband at the right, what's it, length around your head so it fits on.